Uncertainty over those talks affecting world crude prices. Word that an agreement was near sent prices tumbling nearly $2 a barrel. And Iran's foreign minister said a deal was probably unlikely Monday, and that actually stabilized prices. At the close, they were down about 50 cents a barrel. Let's get some perspective on the nuclear negotiations and turn to Mohsen Milani. He's a professor of politics at the University of South Florida and executive director of the Center for Strategic and Diplomatic Studies. Professor Milani, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. So what do you make of all this talk? We thought there was going to be some kind of agreement over the weekend. Then we thought it was going to happen on Monday. Now we're hearing Tuesday. What are your thoughts? Why so much back and forth? Why haven't we seen an agreement yet? Well, because, first of all, I think we are about to have a comprehensive nuclear agreement. All indications show that we are hours away from this. But these negotiations are extremely complicated because they involve seven different countries. The head of states for all of those countries have to approve these. Uh, the agreement. And then not only we have to think about the nuclear issue, there are political issues, there are technical issues, and there is the issue of uh, removal of the sanctions or the lifting of the sanctions. These are complicated, complex negotiations. And the fact that we are, we are nearing the end, it's a good day for democracy, uh, for diplomacy, and a good day for those who wanted to see a peaceful resolution of Iran's nuclear impasse. Professor Milani, you know, all throughout this negotiations that have been uh, going on in Vienna, we heard about some of the issues on the table, like sanctions relief, um, UN inspections of nuclear facility facilities in Iran, advanced nuclear research and technology. Those have always been on the table, but I don't remember the Iran's demand for lifting of the UN arms embargo being on the table, and it seems that has sort of surfaced out of nowhere. I think that was one of the uh, uh, issues that apparently was introduced at the last uh, few days of the negotiations. The Iranian position is that, according to the Lausanne Agreement, all sanctions related to Iran's nuclear activities must be lifted. And their interpretation, their interpretation is that the UN sanctions imposed on Iran in 2007 that related to Iran's nuclear program. Now that that issue is resolved, they were demanding that the, uh, the, uh, these uh, arms sanctions be lifted. And apparently, they have reached an agreement over that sensitive issue as well. So once an agreement is announced, what do you think reaction will be in this country, in Congress, in Washington, and also reaction back in the streets of Tehran? I think hardliners in uh, both Tehran and Washington will oppose uh, the deal. But I'm afraid they do not have a better alternative than what has been negotiated. In the U.S. Congress, we are going to see a vehement opposition against this, against the agreement. But at the end of the day, I am optimistic that the U.S. Congress cannot, cannot scuttle the deal uh, because if the Congress, the two houses of Congress, decide to vote against the deal, the, uh, President Obama has promised to veto the, uh, the bill, in which case the Congress would require two-third majority. And I don't think they have it. Moreover, if the U.S. decides to scuttle the deal, I think it would profoundly tarnish American prestige in the international arena, because this nuclear agreement is not between Iran and the U.S. It is between Iran and six major countries, three of whom are closest U.S. allies. So I am cautiously optimistic. All right, we'll leave it at that, Professor Mohsen Milani. I know you'll be watching it. We will be watching it with you as well to see what happens. Thank you.